Ugh. Hi guys, it is a cold, gloomy October day in August here. Uh, the collapse of everything uh, at Bugs in a Jar Farm. It is a Thursday afternoon, I think August 9th or 10th, 2023. Somewhere in there where it is 64 degrees right now at 3 in the afternoon. Uh, <clears throat> but I am not going to complain <laughs> about being in Ithaca, New York. Good Lord, I could be in Maui right now. I could be in the paradise of Maui. You know, the world really has gone insane. What are that? The last body count I got was 36 crispy critters that they had pulled out of Maui. Uh... <laughs> It is a topsy-turvy world. So anyway, guys, I was coming on here to do a takedown of this. Uh, I don't know if you've seen this piece by this right-wing idiot climate change denier named John Stossel. And, I, and he was uh, talking to this uh, climate change denying climatologist. I think her name is Judith Curry. Uh, I was all set to, you know, work myself up into a lather uh, about this, and uh, but you know, guys, are you finding it? Is is it just me because I'm distracted with this uh, vacation rental business? or all of this uh, UFO space alien stuff. You have to admit, the UFO space alien rabbit hole is a hell of a lot more fun than uh, the Doomosphere. It's a whole lot more fun. I don't know how many of you are, are on this channel are aware of it. I was down in this whole UFO space alien rabbit hole for years. Uh, earlier in my life, uh, particularly back in the 1990s, I was a lot deeper into this whole UFO space alien stuff than, than I've ever been in the Doomosphere. They just didn't have YouTube back then, I, and, and it's probably a good thing. Uh, I finally uh, just, just burned out on, uh, on the whole UFO thing. Uh, I, I don't know what the hell uh, all of that's about. It's either the second biggest story in the history of humanity or it's not. It's one or the other. Okay? It's the second biggest story in the history of our species or it is just a, a, a complete bunch of whack job lunatics. Uh, off on their religion or whatever it is, but you have to admit it's a whole lot more fun. I, uh, you know, I'm on this slippery slope. Uh, one of the women who just checked into a tiny house here, she has this t this T-shirt on. It's with a it's got a picture of a space alien, and it says, "I don't believe in humans." So I just ordered my I Don't Believe in Humans uh, t-shirt. Uh, I, I assure you, if space aliens are real, they take a distant second place to humans on a, a threat to this planet. Uh, so anyway, I don't know whether it's because I've been spending too much time out of that rabbit hole, but I just can't. I, I just can't work myself up into a lather. I, my, my slip is showing. My, my doomer curmudge and slip is showing. Uh, it's just, uh, if, if I have to sit here and read one more time how hot it is this summer when it's 64 degrees outside, you know, it's just, I, I'm not saying that these stories aren't important, but, you know, it's just like, 
how many ways can you say that we're doomed? Uh, I fully understand on a cellular level that we are doomed. I fully understand on a cellular level there is not a damn thing that any one of us from individuals to whatever other level are going to do a goddamn thing to turn this freight train around. I fully understand that space aliens are not coming to save us, still holding out hope that they're coming here to destroy us. I, I have a little bit of hopium that, uh, that uh, Stephen Hawking was right. Stephen Hawking did not uh, just laugh off space aliens. Uh, and he was saying, keep your damn mouth shut that whenever a, a technologically superior race encounters, you know, some little uh, tool-using chimp, it doesn't look good for the tool-using chimp. So I'm hoping that Stephen Hawking is correct and that these space aliens are here to destroy us all because I don't believe in humans, but I honestly don't think it's going to happen. Uh, and it's just, you know, even Medium.com, which I still have a, a whole lot of respect for, it's just, you, you, you know, there's like a dozen people on Medium.com that I read. Is, I guess Jessica Wildfire uh, blew off Medium.com. <clears throat> Anyway, there's a few people on Medium.com that I read every day, and uh, over and over and over, they all have a good shtick, uh, <clears throat> and I wish them well, uh, but a shtick is a shtick, and uh, I, I don't know, guys, do I just need to take a break? Do I need to go uh, and just have fun? With, with the damn space aliens for a while. It's just, it, 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 it's, it's just the, the, the doom and gloom. It, uh, you, you know, it just, it, it, it's, it's, it's just not getting my mojo working recently. I mean, I, I find myself having to fake it. I don't know if that's been showing up in my rants recently or not. That that I'm uh, that that I'm that more and more I'm I'm, I'm having to fake uh, my bile about it. It's just uh, we're done for. Stick a fork in us. We're done, and uh, go, go on with your damn life. You know, go be a vacation rental host, whatever. Uh, we have damn lives to lead. And uh, so, anyway, I might be taking a few days off till I get my mojo back, till I get my doomer mojo back. Uh, <clears throat> maybe when I get my I don't believe in humans t shirt from Amazon.com, uh, that'll help me get my mojo back. Anyway, just letting you know what's going on in my own puny little life here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Come see me. I bet anybody in Maui right now wishes to hell they were at Bugs in a Jar Farm. I assure you that anybody would trade uh, their hotel room in Maui to be in this little tiny house at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Bye, guys. Snug. You gonna shake or not? We got to go. That's better. <laughs>